So for my Anime Expo haul, here is the first bag, the second bag, <laughs> and the third bag. It's a lot of prints, so I hope you're ready for this 30 minute video. First artist I went to was Cliven Sue. I've bought stuff from this artist before on Etsy and I really love their original artwork and style. Uh, here's the first original print of their OC Saku. Uh, the rendering and painting is amazing and the character design is really pretty. And then the background graphic is super aesthetic. Here's a second print of their Demon's Eye Doctor. They debuted this piece at Anime Expo, which was awesome, so I had to pick it up. I barely even noticed the eyeballs, to be honest, which is kind of nice because it doesn't really make this piece look creepy or anything. Uh, but yeah, I adore their painting style. And then I've seen this drawing they've done before, and of course, you all know by now, I'm a huge Violet Evergarden fan. I had to get this while I was at Clive and Sue's booth. Uh, this one has more of a pencil texture, which is nice. Lastly, they included this pretty sticker. Next artist is Cherry Rabbit. Uh, these aren't going to be prints, but here is their business card. I'll have links to all the artists in the description as well. But I just got a couple keychains, one of Totoro and another of a bunny holding a strawberry. I thought these were cute and I liked how the clasps were white and pink as opposed to, you know, the usual metal finish. Next are these die cut stickers from 5th Element Pins. Here's Chihiro and Haku. Then Sophie and Calcifer. And then these cosmic beverages stickers of a nebula boba and astro tea. Both things I really love, including Ghibli. <laughs> Continuing with Ghibli, these next couple items are from Nacho's Arts. I bought from her last year as well. I saw this Sophie and Howell pin and I had to get. It's so pretty. I have a good amount of pins, but I'm trying not to go too crazy into collecting them. I have too many collecting hobbies, but yeah, it has the two pins with the rubber backing and is one of the larger pin sizes that I own. The next thing I got was Nacho's art book, Sweet. Uh, if you saw my Anime Expo vlog, I showed a clip of what her booth looked like and the art prints she was selling. I really like her art style and the illustrations she's done are so pretty. So seeing that she was selling her art book, I had to get. I also asked if she could sign it, which she did. And then I'll do a speed up flip through so you can see what her art book is like. I got this Noelle as a sticker from her last year. So I just love how she does characters with uh, darker skin tones and hair textures too. Love this Hanako and Yashiro. And then I also got this as a sticker last year. She's so cute and I love this flower dress with sneakers. Super happy to have this art book by Nacho's Art Style. Moving on to just one item I got from this artist who I know as Subaki on Instagram. Uh, their art and painting style is really distinct and I've been a fan for a while. Uh, they do a lot of OC work, so the thing I got was this fairly small acrylic standee of one of their original main characters. I like my fair share of maids and I thought I would get something different from them. I was passing by this booth and thought their work was really aesthetic and pretty. I hadn't seen Sang Lam's art before and wanted to get quite a few things but opted on a couple items. First being this square print. Uh, the outline of the flowers has this holographic effect to them which is neat. Then I also saw this sticker sheet and thought if I ever start journaling again, these would be so cute to use. Although I'm terrible with stickers because I don't know, it's like every sticker is unique and so unless I have multiples of the same one, I feel like I'll never use them. Is anyone else like this? 
Then I picked up this enamel pin from Eulish Chan's booth. Just a cute and simple Nanami and Gojo cat pin. <laughs> they had other pins I also wanted but held myself back. Next is the artist Mako House. I actually already have a bunch of prints from them and their Genshin art book, but when I passed by their booth, I saw this Skip and Loafer print and had to get it. I adore the Skip and Loafer series, both the manga and anime, so this was a must. Their art style and the lighting is so nice and fitting for how bright and fun the series is. But yeah, here is their signature. And yeah, I really like Mitsumi and Sosuke as characters. But then I couldn't help myself because even though I have what's on these acrylic keychains as full prints, I wanted them as keychains. <laughs> so this is the Zhongli one, Zhongli with glasses too. And then next is Al Haitham. Gosh, you're gonna see so many Al Haithams in this video. And then last one is Kabe, Al Haitham's quote unquote roommate. <laughs> I also got a lot of Kabe things. So yeah, I'll be putting these up on my pegboard soon. Okay, so I can't find who this artist is as none of the business cards I got match these prints and I did an image search on Google but nothing came up. But I've been watching the Kimini Todoke anime lately and Sawako and Kazehaya are the cutest thing. And then this print is the one that caught my eye when I passed by because I absolutely love the Yamada-kun level 999 series, both the manga and the anime. I like the manga more but the anime was a nice treat. Uh, but yeah, I'm super disappointed that I can't find who the artist is, so definitely let me know if you happen to come across these online. Next is this print my cousin bought me while at the expo, which was super sweet of her. We're big fans of Haikyuu, so it was nice that she gave this postcard to me and had asked Helen Pina to sign it as well. I have other postcard prints that I had bought from their Etsy a while ago, so it's a treat to have this Oikawa school version too. Next booth I stopped by was Kuru731. And the first item is this fill-in-the-blank Haikyuu greeting card. This scene makes me laugh so much. I don't know if I'll actually use this card, but oh well. And then I also got this Karasuno sticker sheet with a variety of designs. More cute stickers I may or may not use. <laughs> and then this sticker sheet also had me laughing. I love it so much that I had to get more than one so that I could send it to some friends who are also big Haikyuu fans. I figured they'd appreciate these silly stickers too. I love how they're paired with specific emoji faces that match their personality. Uh, like, they all look a bit derpy too. Uh, definitely check out their website if you'd like some as well. Honestly, I may get more of these. And then they also had this BT21 emoji sticker sheet. I'm also a BTS fan, so when I saw these next to the Haikyuu ones, I had to get. Uh, these stickers really do cover all the moods. <laughs> uh, the Mong and Shimmy ones are so funny. I passed by Kayami's booth and laughed so much. I've joked around with several friends about having multiple boyfriends, husbands, wives. They're all 2D though, unfortunately. <laughs> but I got a few because I wanted to send to a couple friends who totally understand this statement. The rest of the video will have a bunch of prints, majority Genshin too. <laughs> so this is by QR Bits. It's the Kamisato siblings and Toma in Kingsman style. I also saw them at Lightbox Expo last year and definitely want to get more prints from them. So this stack of prints I got from Pran M33, who I also got a stack of prints from last year. <laughs> I just love their art style and A5 prints. Uh, starting it off with Aki from Chainsaw Man, which I finally finished watching earlier this year. Another Aki, of course smoking. I haven't gotten around to reading the Chainsaw Man manga yet, but we'll see. And then Blade from Honkai Star Rail. Have I started playing it yet? No, <laughs> but I appreciate a lot of the characters so far, even without having played it. Same thing with Jing Yuan, uh, also Honkai Star Rail, Hoyoverse is too powerful when it comes to these character designs. I'm already spending money on Star Rail and I haven't even started playing yet. <laughs> but here's Alhaitham from Genshin, the artist caption for this is the library's open. <laughs> Another Alhaitham, uh, they did a funny reel with this where his shirt disappears. <laughs> But here's a fully clothed Alhaitham now. He was uh, gradually putting more clothes on in these prints. 
uh, but it looks so good. Uh, this drawing is everything to me. <laughs> and then here's Kave looking adorable and sweet with his deep v-neck. Uh, I also really love his character design and obviously shipping him with Alhaitham. <laughs> Here's Ayato. I also really love his character because his JP voice is an actor who's voiced other favorite characters of mine. He's just very princely. And then Vash, who I'm also going to send to a friend who may or may not be watching this. I've only watched the original Trigun, uh, so, but I've seen his design everywhere. And here are all the prints I got from Pron M. Pretty sure if I see them next year, I'll be getting another stack of prints. Another artist I've purchased from several times in the past is Angela Wu. Uh, their watercolor work is just so whimsical and dreamy. Uh, but here is a print of Kave with his ascension flower. And then I'll hide them with his ascension material. They're drawn with such a soft look. I also got Jingyuan uh, because I can't help myself when it comes to light haired characters. <laughs> And then lastly, I saw this Evolution sticker sheet and thought it was too cute to pass up. I'm mostly an OG Pokemon fan since I didn't keep up with it too much after that, but the Evolutions never miss. Next artist booth I spent a lot of time at was 108Ks. Their bio says that they have a PhD in Ikemen studies, and I believe them. <laughs> first set of things I got were these full body Genshin fashion stickers. Uh, first is Zhongli in a turtleneck, cardigan, and long coat. And then next is Ayato in a button-up shirt and slacks. Ahaitham in a shirt and loose jacket with a necklace accessory. And then of course Kave still with a deep v-neck and fluffy cardigan and long necklace. I honestly wish I got more of these, like literally got the entire line of Genshin characters. Uh, but I also picked up this cute sticker of their OCs. So many aesthetic things in this illustration, uh, but I love how the holographic is fairly subtle and gives it a pastel finish. Now comes the prints, starting with their OCs. This one fully decked out in stickers and band-aids, earrings, nail polish. Super cool. Another OC of theirs, I was super drawn to this one because of the pose. I'm pretty weak to illustrations where they're looking down on you and kind of smug. <laughs> and the colors on this are really pretty with the pink and light blue and then the red eyes. And last OC print I got, I like this shade of yellow. It's like a mustard yellow. Uh, their OC looks cute here with the forced smile. <laughs> Now some fan art, it's Sashomaru from Inuyasha. I was recently on an Inuyasha kick from just listening to the opening and closing songs. I used to be super obsessed with Inuyasha growing up, but Sashomaru continues to be a top favorite character for me. Uh, back to Jingyuan from Honkai Star Rail looking dashing with his smile and unbuttoned shirt. Then Ayato who looks super cute here, his smile and eyes fit his personality so much. Zhongli always looking serious and refined in his turtlenecks. <laughs> there were several other Zhongli ones I would have wanted, maybe if they sell prints again. Uh, of course, I'll hide them with his big arms. Grateful that Kota drew him with massive arms since it's actually canon that he does. <laughs> and then Kaveh. Seriously, I can't stop looking at him in game. He's so pretty and I love him drawn in this style. So another set of Ikemen drawings to add to my ever-growing collection. <laughs> I thought I wasn't going to get anything else from Artist Alley, but I saw Keltrini's artwork, this one being another Jingyuan. Uh, the paper quality of this is different and feels like a really nice glossy fabric poster. I'm kind of sad I didn't get more than I did, but the lighting on this piece is gorgeous. Uh, same thing goes for this Kave illustration. The glow and use of color dodge really makes it feel like the sun is shining onto this piece, but it's actually the render. Uh, it's so good with the lions too. And then again, I was kind of bummed I didn't get the Dazai counterpart to this and only got Chuya, uh, but the deal was a buy to get one free. I should have just gotten it anyways. <laughs> And then aside from prints, I also saw this Hu Tao Shikishi, which is so cute. I didn't get much Hu Tao merch this year because I got a ton last year, uh, but this is too pretty and with her two little ghosts. 
And then this artist was having a deal with this postcard set for $20. I remember asking if all six were together uh, because I couldn't believe it. Uh, but these are all Sumeru characters. Layla's character design is so pretty and probably my favorite from this set of drawings. Next is Faruzan. Her color scheme is really nice, although I don't actually have her in game, but maybe someday she'll show up on my account. And next is Saino. His voice actor is one of my favorites when it comes to the English dub. Although I play in Japanese, some of the voice actors are too good to pass up. And then Tignari. Uh, this illustration is extra pretty because I think the holographic effect on his accessories really stand out. Uh, and then Kave, uh, the holographic effect also elevates this illustration. He's just such a pretty character with his feather and hairstyle. Lastly, of course, Alhaitham, always with his book. I love how the gold accents on his clothes and headphones really do shine. So yeah, super happy to have learned of this artist while browsing the aisles. I've been following Yurei for a while now and her artwork is so gorgeous. She draws a lot of flowers and butterflies and jewelry in her pieces. Uh, her booth was the one I waited the longest in, but here's Zhongli. Uh, there are these nice subtle touches of gold foil as you can see in the tears. And then this blade one was the postcard I wanted the most because look at him. The butterflies and again with the gold foil for that extra elegance. He just looks so dreamy here. She also had these funny fan sign ticket holographic prints. So of course I got Zhongli and he's wearing one of those silly hoods or bonnets or I don't know what you call them. Uh, and then on the back has ticket details and a little quote fitting of his character and stuff he normally says in game. And I think she gave this for free, but this photo card is so funny, which I think is Stell from Honkai Star Rail. And then I saw these Polaroid films and of course had to get Zhongli. Uh, they were all super pretty and the film border gives it a nice touch. Uh, but now onto the large prints, which I tried really hard not to get 11 by 17 poster sizes because of wall space. Uh, <laughs> but here's this gorgeous Zhongli print in his Archon outfit, which I'm dying to get in game. And then Yelan, whose design I really love. She's just so edgy and I love playing her character. Uh, this illustration is so nice and the colors and lighting are just perfect. And then I totally didn't notice, but here's this framed picture of Alhaitham and Kave kissing. I'm dying over here. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've said pretty in this video, but oh my god, I love this illustration so much. And look at how they rendered Kave's back. <laughs> Everyone calls him baby girl and yeah, I, I see it. <laughs> Moving along to Morris Jian, who I once again bought a ton of stuff from this year like I did last year. Starting off with these two acrylic standees, the first being Ayato in his signature white color scheme and just looking princely as usual as he casually sits at a windowsill. <laughs> and then Zhongli in a modern outfit browsing the bookshelves. I have so many Zhongli things, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> It is kind of nice that these two acrylics are a scene and not just the characters themselves, like they have a background, uh, and they're a nice size too. So yeah, here starts the stack of postcards I got. Uh, this one was actually a mistake, I thought this was Kave, but turns out it's Luca from Niji Sanji. <laughs> and then here's Pantalone or Regrader from Genshin, one of the Fatui Harbingers. Here's the actual Kave, a really pretty illustration of him holding a wolf's gravestone, which actually matches well with his design. And then no surprise here, Alhaitham, our favorite acting Grand Sage. I'm glad Mo drew him with a big bicep. I mean, it's part of his design, so it's not just me. <laughs> and the caption for this illustration was so funny that he should have been an actor instead of a scribe because it's so true based on this famous cutscene that he has. But back to Zhongli, this is something they drew for his birthday. It's so beautiful with the balloons and flowers, the pretty field, the colors are gorgeous, and his soft expression. Another Zhongli, this is part of a larger piece they did with a bunch of other male characters from Genshin. I got the Zhao one last year because uh, I think this one sold out at the time, so I'm happy to have it now. Here's an Ayato postcard. 
It's so dynamic with the water effect, his clothes flowing all over the place. The rendering is just so good. Then this Ayato illustration tops it because whenever I see these types of drawings where the character is lying down in water, rendering water and things in water just blows my mind. He looks amazing. And last small format postcard is this one that I am so in love with. I kind of wish it had Kabe or Ayato, but I'm happy to see my two favorites in there. There's Kazuha, Venti. I'll hide them. <laughs> Saino, Tartaglia, Deluc, and then Zhongli off to the side. This won't be the last you see this illustration. <laughs> so yeah, here's the series of postcards from this artist. All the male characters. <laughs> okay, so this was a total mistake, but not that I mind it. I got the small postcard print, but before I checked out, I was like, what else should I get? Completely forgetting that I already have this all high them. I'm okay with this larger format though. And then me getting the larger print of this drawing was intentional because the next item that I'll show will explain why. Uh, but you know, sometimes you just need to see things in more detail and scaled up. Tell me I'm not the only one. <laughs> so the reason I got the print was because I wanted it as a play mat for my desk. But I was worried it was too deep and wouldn't fit because of how I had my desk set up, so I got the print just in case. I'll remove my mouse and keyboard so you can see. I did have to push back my little shelf under my monitor so that the mat wouldn't overhang, but it worked out. Uh, so this is what you'll see from now on in my videos. Even though my keyboard will cover some faces, at least I'll see Ahaitham and Zhongli. <laughs> and then the last item, because I spent so much at Morris's shop, I got this purchase bonus of a Tartaglia flowing sand acrylic, which is pretty neat because it's like it's snowing uh, fitting since he's from Shnesnaya. Uh, she had asked if I wanted a larger one which I think was a shikishi or this smaller flowing sand and I chose the small one because I just don't know where I would put the larger one of these and while I do like Tartaglia he's not like my top top favorite so I'm happy with this it's just really mesmerizing to move around Okay, we're finally done with the prints, but not quite yet for the Genshin things. I got this volume 2 illustration collection from the Kinokuniya booth. I was eagerly awaiting this release because I really wanted this extra booklet, which has some of the Sumeru short animation keyframes. I'll flip through it so you can see. Of course, starting with All Hytham's keyframes. <laughs> It's really neat that um, it's printed front and back and you can see the detail of these drawings for a handful of the characters. And Neelie's drawings are really pretty too. So I do have volume 1 as well and it has a sleeve like this. I've done a quick flip through of volume 1 before but basically this volume 2 book is the same concept and has official art for the game uh, starting from 2.0 when Inazuma dropped up to uh, version 2.8. Uh, these foldouts are great and uh, this one of the Harbingers makes me want to watch that chilling trailer again. Uh, so yeah. It has a splash art of all the release characters during that time, event banner artwork, specific moments during characters' story quests, uh, illustrations when uh, it's the characters' birthdays. I'll just let the video run as I flip through, but it's nice to look through this because I'm reminded of uh, the story quests that I've done. And I can't wait for Sumeru Volume 3 
and to eventually have all of these books for all the regions. Last set of Genshin things I got from the Hoyoverse booth. Uh, first is this huge Zhongli chibi keychain. I wasn't expecting it to be this big, but I've seen this around and thought, why not? He's cute. <laughs> it has a nice little geo symbol charm with it too. And next is this Ayato flowing glitter acrylic uh, with just a really nice illustration of him on the front. Of course, more mesmerizing glitter. And then this Alhaitham badge because I didn't have any merch for him yet, so I got whatever I could. He's cute as a chibi. And like I said, I had to get anything Alhaitham, and I saw that they were carrying the Exquisite Night Chimes Shikishi board with this illustration that I went crazy for when I saw it during one of the live streams. It has a cool stand built in the back, which is nice, so it has something to lean against. But yeah, I'm obsessed with this official artwork. It's actually still my PC wallpaper. And very last Genshin item for this video is this Hu Tao a Day of Destiny series gift box. I have one for Noel, uh, but these are essentially items to commemorate a character's birthday. So it comes with a greeting card in this nice envelope. Uh, it also has a small sticker sheet with their uh, signature dish and some icons and symbols based on their character. And then the letter I'll have to translate to see what it says, or probably there's a translation online that I can read. Uh, but I think this is so cute having a letter from them like when we get in-game mail on the day of their birthday. And last couple items is this badge. I'm not really a badge person, but this is cute. And then this shikishi board, which is more in line with what I like to collect. I'm happy to have Hu Tao's gift box because she's one of my top favorite characters. Very last thing I bought from the expo is this one shot Sick by Tomo Kurahashi published by Kuma, an imprint of Denpa. I was surprised that it has a cover jacket, it really speaks to Denpa's quality, uh, but in general, I wasn't planning on buying any manga because I know I can get it cheaper elsewhere, and also, I didn't want to be carrying around a bunch of books. Uh, but I was drawn in by the cover art, and when I spoke with the person at the Kuma booth, they said it was about a guy who overtly teases another guy and messes with him, but eventually it turns into a mutual romance. Uh, it's a mature rated series and was plastic wrapped so keep that in mind. Uh, I did read this volume and the main guy Sudo has a kind of nasty attitude and essentially bullies Kishi, uh, his senpai in college. It's one of those like why am I feeling this way and wanting to act out this way towards this guy. Uh, it does get cute towards the end but I'm not sure I would really recommend it. Uh, the art is really nice though and why I'll still keep this in my collection. And I thought I would flip through this manga sampler that Viz was handing out at their booth. It's neat that they do this so you can check out snippets of a variety of their series all within one volume. Uh, some of these I've been eyeing like Ayashiman, Akane Banashi. Uh, I do have the first volume of Insomniacs After School. Uh, but seeing as how I have this 2023 sampler, I thought I'd show the one I got from Anime Expo way back in 2003. <laughs> They were giving out this Shonen Jump sampler that compiles a group of series we all know about Dragon Ball, Sandland, which is also by Akira Toriyama, Naruto, One Piece, Yu Yu Hakusho, Shaman King, Yu Gi Oh! Obviously, I've had this sampler volume for a long time because it's yellowed. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me while I talked your ears off about 90% Genshin things and other fun stuff I picked up at the expo. I feel like a lot of the people who watch my videos aren't into Genshin, but oh well. I have my year's worth of Ikemen, and if you enjoyed seeing all those prints with me, I'm happy and energized until the next convention. <laughs> so if you're still here, Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Take care.